Hi everybody, this is Bruce here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Traveling with Bruce. Please subscribe to my channel today and become a key supporter of Traveling with Bruce by clicking the Patreon link. Enjoy the video. Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. How are you doing today? Today I want to give you an update on St. Croix, just uh, east of, uh, of uh, Puerto Rico. As we zoom in here, you'll see the uh, Hurricane Maria having gone right over the island. Uh, just to the right there, the lower right, uh, is St. Croix, and it got hit badly, uh, just as badly as Puerto Rico and, and other nations, other islands. Uh, total devastation, and uh, some of the scenes we've seen have just been terrible, heartbreaking uh, a lot of us uh, know St. Croix from uh, taking a cruise. Uh, you'll visit the island for maybe four, six, eight hours, uh, have a wonderful time, and uh, see the beaches, and uh, and uh, maybe take a tour, and uh, and off we go. But uh, after a disaster like this, boy, you you need to bring in the, the you need the help. And uh, the FEMA people and the National Guard they've stepped up. Uh, first thing you do is you evacuate uh, women, children, the the ill. Uh, you fly them out. Uh, they've been flown to uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, there's a, a cruise ship, a medical ship there that the uh, U.S. Uh, Navy's brought in to help people out or take them to the mainland in the U.S. You bring in muscle like this and you bring in provisions right away, uh, water, food, rations, uh, uh, generators, uh, medicines, uh, you name it. But these folks here, they have to uh, they have to stay somewhere. They, you got to feed these guys too. And uh, these people have to be in top uh, physical shape to handle this kind of unbelievable work in these difficult conditions. We're talking hot and humid weather. Uh, this is taxing uh, uh, even on these young uh, young Americans here. These are just the, the best, the first responders. They're helping out with uh, cleaning up debris, uh, getting businesses back up and running as best they can. Uh, FEMA first uh, uh, flew into uh, St. Thomas uh, and uh, dropped off uh, supplies there, and immediately they realized they had nowhere to house their responders. So they brought in a cruise ship. Uh, this is the fa the celebration uh, cruise ship that was brought in about a month ago. It's been chartered for three months to house up to 1,500 uh, National Guard people and first responders, doctors, nurses, you name it, because there's just no accommodation available in St. Thomas to house them. Same thing now is happening in St. Croix. Just announced today that FEMA has chartered the uh, Carnival cruise ship fascination for the next, I think it's three, four months uh, until at least next February. And uh, this ship can house 2,600 people. Um, and I'll tell you, they're going to use them all. Uh, this is the smart move to make. Uh, you have self-contained uh, kitchens, a medical center here. Uh, these uh, these uh, first responders are going to have a place to sleep comfortably, shower comfortably, get rested up so they can put another 10, 12-hour shift in the next day. For you and I, this is the scene that we're used to with St. Croix. We're not going to see this for a while, unfortunately. As we know, the island is in real rough shape, but it is coming back. And with the muscle of uh, FEMA and the U.S. Uh, military behind it, uh, it'll come around. But uh, hopefully someday we'll see this again. I'll keep the updates coming. It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like, and uh, I'll keep the stories coming. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.